Ten for ten thousand. Day twenty-two. <sighs> hope. The hook of hope can be deadly. My friend, Roberta Schaller, she talks about this hook of hope a lot of the times. She says that many abusers will use this power, this hook of hope. This The abusers, which I call the hunters, we talked about a few days ago, they're people that have only themselves in mind, their control, their feelings. They want to make sure they manipulate everything in front of their path, the family, the friends, the spouse, whomever. They are the ones that always show up ready, serving, happy, and yet still a little aggressive in that control. Very narcissistic in its behavior at its finest. They like the status, the control, the power, all of that. The controlling and the gas lighting, it makes you start to second guess yourself your beliefs, your abilities, your ways that you make decisions. You lose all of this confidence. It's just lost in yourself. You think, I'm, I'm really going crazy here. That's their game. And they use the hook of hope to keep luring you in. Have you ever been fishing? As you go fish, the hook comes in, hooks into the fish, right? If you've ever do done catch and release as you try to release that hook and then release them out. Some hooks are embedded really deep. Well, many of these um, people that hook you with the hope, they know just how to embed that hook really deep. For me, in my experiences, I had five of these major hooks of hope. He would get clean sober, no more drugs, no more women, no more sex, all of this would just clean right up. And he would stay that way for three months, four months, sometimes even five months. So it would rebuild my trust again. And so I would give in to him again and soon we were pregnant again. So that's why I say I have five of these hooks of hope, these cycles. They're powerful, and each time he got clean and ready and went back to church and all of that, it just got the hook in deeper. Because then I would say, but look, there was the change. I experienced it four or five months worth. Yeah, I know it all changed back, but, but, did you see that? There was some hope there. <laughs> yeah, it's the game. It's part of how they control. It's part of whether they're lost within their own minds that are ill. We have to recognize this pattern and what's happening. Put away some of these emotions, set them aside, and try to look logically at what is happening. I know many of our friends and family are trying to get us to look that way in that perspective. We have to be ready, just like anything else. Once we hit that bottom and then we can see it change it and then move forward so if you are stuck in a hook of hope look and examine how long does that last is it true true change really changes and doesn't keep returning and you can have small fallbacks but it doesn't completely shift back and forth so if you're stuck in the hook of hope my friend dr. Roberta Scheller, she has a lot of things that can help you with that. Myself, would love to be able to contact and give you support that way as well. I thank you guys so much for your support and in selling and purchasing the book, Pinpoints of Light. We want to change and open the conversation so that we can help prevent a lot of the things that are currently happening. We can make this change, one individual at a time. We'll see you.